Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for August 31st. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Paint It Black Sudoku by Bill Murphy. So this is a little bit of a combo puzzle. Um, we have two grids, and in the right grid, we have normal Sudoku rules. 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. We also don't have any information in that grid yet. The left grid is where we get that information. Um, the left grid is a nonogram. We have clues outside the grid, and those clues tell us about runs of shaded cells. So this 2-2 two -two could mean I have these two shaded, and I have these two shaded, something like that. Um, and then the rest are unshaded. Color that green for now. Um, so that would be a valid uh, fill for this 2-2 two -two clue. And then the 7 here, we would shade seven cells and leave the other two unshaded and so on. Um, we have to figure out how to do that so that all of the clues are simultaneously valid. Um, with these uh, ones, for example, this says one shaded and then one shaded and then one shaded. They can't be next to each other. So this would not be valid. This would be a two at least. Uh, this would have to be unshaded, and then somewhere there's another shaded cell and another one. That's how nonogram works. Once we've completed that, we're going to transfer the shaded digits over to this grid and then solve it as this is okay. So those are the rules. Um, I'm not actually going to use gray because it's going to make it a little hard to see um, what we're doing over here. I'm going to use purple, and then we'll use green for unshaded. Um, so let's get started on the left, and we're going to think about the nonogram, but we're going to keep in mind Sudoku rules. Uh, so let's look at the seven. If both of these were shaded, that would mean we would have to transfer two ones over here, and that's going to break the Sudoku. So that doesn't work. These can't both be shaded. So this is unshaded. And the same is true down here. This is unshaded. And that only leaves seven digits, or seven cells. So those have to all be shaded. Now, in these rows, where we have clues that are just ones, we can't have another shaded cell next to the existing shaded cells. So those are all unshaded. And now if we look at this column, we need three shaded cells separated. So these must all be shaded. Um, here we have two and two. Well, this two can't go this way, so it must go here. This two is the same, must go here. And that's going to leave these unshaded. All right, where do we want to look next? Uh, this column um, has ones, so those can't be shaded. And now let's look at this row. Um, we need four ones, but they can't go next to each other. We have one here. One of these can be shaded, and one of these can be shaded. But they can't both be. They would be next to each other. That would be a two. So at most, we can have two shaded cells here. That means our fourth must be in this cell. And that's going to give us our three clue here. And fill in a bunch of stuff. Um, that also gives us shaded cells in these. So those are done. So in all three of these rows, we're going to have one shaded in each of these columns, one shaded in each of these columns. And they can't be both in column seven and eight. All right, this three we still don't know for sure which is shaded and which is unshaded. All right, where do you want to look next? Ah, 
Well, yeah, that gives us a little information. So these threes, uh, just like we where we started here, they can't both be shaded. So at least this one is unshaded. Um, this one could be shaded, or it could also be unshaded. Um, we're going to have to be careful with the sevens here that we don't have two shaded sevens. Uh, same here, same here. This actually we can leave unshaded uh, because these can't both be shaded. Um, this now can't be shaded because we know the clue here is a two and that's surrounded by unshaded cells. So we need two here. The middle one is going to have to be shaded. And now if we look back at our ones here, this must now be shaded. Otherwise we can't fit two shaded cells here. Uh, that means the three contains this. It's going to have to go down at least one. So that's unshaded. Could be the nine or the five to complete that, I believe, at least for now. All right, we need three down here, so these are going to have to both be shaded along with one of these. That means these are unshaded. What am I missing here? These can't both be shaded. Um, they actually couldn't be anyway because of the nonogram. Um, if both of these were part of one of the three clues, where would we put the other three? Um, that just wouldn't work. Uh, this can't be shaded. So this nine, that means this can't be shaded. So now the two here, this is similar to this column, or the top of this column. At the bottom, that gives us shaded there. So one of these is shaded. Okay, and now how are we gonna fit threes that don't touch? They're gonna have to go like this. It means that is unshaded. In order to fit our two, these are gonna have to be shaded. Now we have our three in this column. Uh, this is not shaded. In fact, all of these are not shaded. This is not shaded because we already got three. Uh, one of these is shaded. Don't know which yet. One of these is shaded. So it could be like that, or it could just be that. Don't think we can determine which yet. Oh, none of these are shaded. So that's going to give us this column. Uh, that's helpful. So now these are unshaded, which means that these are shaded, and that's going to resolve this. Uh, it's going to finish off the shading. All right, um, we have our pattern of shaded cells. Um, they make a number, they make 98. Um, wonder what that could be about. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to record a brief explainer of um, our guessing game in August after this, um, so I will explain what that's about. But let's transfer our digits. So we're only transferring the shaded digits. This is one of those things, if I did more editing, maybe I would cut this out of the video because it's kind of dull, but you're just gonna have to bear with me as I type all these digits in. 
All right, so that is done. We are done with this grid now. We can just ignore it. Now we're just doing classic Sudoku. Uh, we have two sevens here, so this is a seven. Uh, one of these is seven. One of these is eight. Uh, this is eight. We've got two eights there and an eight there. So one of these is eight. Uh, eight and nine in this column do because of that eight. That means this is eight in this box. Uh, we're going to get this pattern of eight. If that's worth marking. What do we need here? We need a four. Can't go at the top. These are three and five. Uh, that means these are two and six. These are two and four, but not two. The bottom we need a seven, and we need one and three. These are four, five, nine. It's a chocolate teapot. One, five, nine across the middle. One, three, five. Uh, we can put the one there. It's going to leave a three, five pair. Oh. It's not going to leave a 3 5 pair. That's a 1. These are 6, 8, 9. We can do the 8, 9, 6 like that. These are 2, 5. These are 5, 6, 9. The 5's got to go there. These are 4, 5. These are 2, 9, which we can do. This is a 5. We need four and nine in these cells. This box, uh, we need a seven and nine. Can't go here, and the nine can't go here. So this is seven, nine, like this. This is three, one. These are one and three. These are two and six. Uh, the two in this box goes here. These are also one, three. These are four and three. Five and seven. Eight and one. And finally, four, five. And that should be the solution if I haven't uh, typoed anything. Let's check real quick. Ah, I have two ones here. There we go. That's the solution. Um, yeah, a really nice classic, uh, especially considering the constraints that Bill had setting this. Uh, it just flowed really nicely. This is very cute. Um, I like nonograms. Um, they're 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 not the best puzzle genre ever. Um, probably because they've been overdone in uh, various publications, but. I'm kind of fond of them, uh, and so I like that, it, especially with the added logic of being concerned about not having duplicated digits for the classic grid. That adds a little something to this. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments. Um, I will see you very shortly because I'm going to record an explainer for the guessing game, um, and then after that, I will see you next time.